Hi, I'm here with a special view for you guys. I wanted to do the quickest. I have 15 minutes to get ready and I don't know why I've decided to do this. I'm pretty much bringing more than a kids year three show and tell, trying to show off in front of my friends. I basically wanted to collect all the things that I've really appreciated this uh, time being away, what stuff I've liked, what stuff I've used, and hopefully help you. These are the products that I want to talk about. I've cleansed my skin using the beautiful Luna 3 for men. I did my last review before leaving and I really wanted to just use that, so I forced myself to keep only that device, and that's my only cleansing device that myself and my partner are using. Like, I really, 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 really love it. It's just really more intense, and I absolutely love the fact that it's much more geared for a combination skin. I love it. So good. So I'm really, really glad that I brought that out. The next step, as anyone would do, is usually your Ferrero Bear. If you're wanting to use devices, this is not by any means just about devices. It just so happens that my life gravitates around them. For any of you that are interested in that or a bit more about me, check out my video two ones before and that will explain a lot. I brought a ton of masks with me out and I'm gonna try tonight coconut. Rose. Rose. And I'm using it with my UFO2. I'm using it in manual mode. Yes, this is perhaps sacrilege for many people. Um, I've had one now for two years. I've posted probably the most videos about Foreo um, on the internet from one user. I adore the brand and my dream came true. Again, reference that video. So what I like to do is if I'm in a rush, I only do this step if I'm in a rush. Um, and trust me, this is show and tell, so get ready because I'm going to just pull things out. By the way, Serge Neem Special Edition from Selfridges. Got it in the sale, £30 instead of 150 Incredible. I love Serge Neem. Proud luck. So I've clicked in the mask. So this is really good for cooling, hydrating, but I'm gonna be lazy Chris today. Evening mode. And if you wanna get really geeky, you can also look at my UFO hacks video, which is up here. This shows you basically what I'm doing now is I'm either using my pre-settings on it so I don't need to use my phone. You obviously need to connect it to a device for the first time, but let's speed up this section. I love the mask. I've already done a review about it, which is also love that it's biodegradable and it smells like rose which is beautiful and it's great you can multitask that was a good minute i wanted to talk about i tried this in a recent cocoon center purchase so it's the eta pure and it is the peptide 6 pro melanine and this is for bronzage difficile this is for people that have it a difficulty in tanning not for a superficial reason more so because i get a lot of heat rash open talk in my inner elbows, I really react to the sun. Have a pretty sensitive skin, regrettably. I'm halfway through with this. It costs 35 pounds, so expensive. And I spent a lot of money on sun cream this year as well, with one budget one as well, so just stay tuned to find that one out. I've definitely tanned the best than I ever have on holiday, but I don't know if it's because of this. And I'm not that enamored by it. The, some of the reviews was like, oh my gosh, I got like twice as tanned in like a week which me just equaled, whoa, actually my body's response to protect itself is actually more, so this is good. I'm not that impressed. So if you guys have any other feedback on that, tell me. I've been loving this as well. This is last year, it was my dream to have this in summer and it completely sold out. And one of an amazing friend of mine, Sasha, who works for the company, actually showed this to me and it was the best thing she's ever taught me. This is the Gold Shimmer Oil by Amoravica. Smells like Cinnamon, spices, manoi oil, super Tahitian, so summery, so decadent, so unreal, so a lot. With 24 karat gold, real flakes, I put it on damp body, all over my body, everywhere. I've even put it on my face, I put it in my hair, it's to die for. Open talk, deodorant. I don't like using aluminium deodorants. So this has been one of my absolute favorites recently and it actually works. I know Jules von Hepp online on Instagram, if you follow him, it's the guy that owns Isla Paradise, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. He is also always on the fine for aluminium free deodorants and it is so difficult and it really is. And it's hard and it's annoying that we as consumers need to make that decision and then struggle by having to do that. It's like companies should just be making great options that actually don't have carcinogenic effects. That's the tea. Men, it's by Aiken. It's geranium and cedar wood, natural deodorant. It works amazing. Anybody, let's remove gender from it completely. Anyone very active who usually sweats a lot is a great test to use this. Another thing which is really good that I've been enjoying recently is the Isle of Paradise, the High Glow. I've been using this mixed in with a uh, moisturizer sometimes, but actually this is meant to be used on its own. It has loads of things like avocado oil, grapefruit oil, mint, 
it's unreal. Gives the most subtle glow. Really, 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 um, really subtle. So impressed with it. It was half price in Boots recently. Yeah, I have everything out here, so I'm just kind of like shouting things out as I go across. This is also amazing. I've been using this on the hair. This is by Nukes. This is the uh, moisturizing protective milky oil for hair. This is amazing. I actually burnt my scalp while being here, which is really annoying. I now have to put sun cream on because I cut my hair too short. Uh, really good, uh, especially if you have lightened ends, which I did by myself. I did a kind of balayage vibe to lighten the pre-lightened ends and give a kind of like a kind of frosted tip, but ombre balayage vibes. Talking about the skincare that I was talking about before. This is one of the most budget SPF creams I've ever used in my life. That has actually impressed me so much. This is the Face Sensitive Protect by Boots Sultan. It's 50 plus, five star UVA. One of the best mattifying, skin perfecting, non-greasy, with good ingredients, sun cream for under 10 pounds. I think I got it for six pounds in the sale. This is incredible for anyone's skin. So yeah, let's get into the skincare portion and makeup. Uh, what I got myself as a treat is, and I know this isn't the best ingredient, so forgive me, but there, there is something about the texture and what this does to my skin. I got it as a tester um, with a purchase ages ago. Guys, for doing that. This is called the Thirsty Mud. It has a really nice kind of coconut, tingly uh, scent and ingredient base. I am really glazing through the things, and I know usually with my videos, I'm much more ingredients focused. This has things like dimethicone, I'm not gonna lie, but I adore the formula, and perhaps it's just the huge element, the human element to what we like and what makes us happy. Again, I would only really use it in summer. I wouldn't use this all the time. I'm gonna show you the things that have really helped me kind of achieve what I feel is like a really nice glow. So, firstly, because I'm somewhere very by the water, I also want to relate to the, the locals, which is fish as well. And the Barry M That Swell will give me that kind of look, self-creation, self-made. Come at me. Um, okay, so let's start with the makeup and let's talk about it. What I like about this lip gloss, interestingly, is it's really like a lip balm, really plumping, and if you wipe it, it turns matted. And I don't like gloss. Glam Glow also does a really, really, really good lip plumper. It's great for anyone that doesn't want to go into anything invasive, for now, forever, but come on, open talk. Right, so talk about base. I am using the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Custom Fresh Foundation in 160 Shell. So very nautical inspired. I just used the sponge and I literally just placed it in teeny, so I know I said I kind of went foundation free. I'm talking like the inner bits of my face, like nothing. And this is very, very light. It's very adapting. It definitely kind of self refreshes. This is really good if you've caught a bit of the sun, if you kind of want like just to take a bit of the redness out of the skin. Uh, bit there. And that's it, done. So like, I wouldn't even call that like one coat. Now let's talk under eyes. Synchro Skin in 203 Light Claire. Right, this is a lot. And it's very, very intense and it's very strong. Usually I would be using this and I've been loving it so far, but I do actually want to revert to one of my favorites and which is why I want to include it in this video is the Sisley Under Eye Concealer. It is incredible, it's in shade one. It has the metal micro tip applicator and it's beautiful. It has a really nice pinky tone. The reason why I'm using this more today is because I'm just wanting it. <laughs> Quick review, guys. What I like about this is it looks so natural. I don't want as full of a coverage, which is why I've gone with this one rather than the Shiseido. I adore the Shiseido one and I would recommend to anybody that suffers with under eye lines, curse of the expression it, I would recommend it. It's brilliant. What I like with this is it's a bit more foolproof. I don't need to blend it in as well. To be honest, I didn't really go with the shade. It was a blind purchase online, whatever. Now some really cool stuff that I've tried and gotten recently, which I have to say blew my mind. I saw this in store in Selfridges, Nude Sticks. It's a brand I've never tried before. This got me. So it has the brush 
included and on the top the actual bronzer so literally for a beach trip a few vinos just buff and whatever on the go just we can be true we can be true i want you to see what i see in eyes something so real something so real i want you to see that I'm going to warm it up a little bit with the Lancome Star Bronzer in Natural Matte Tan. This also has an SPF, which is really good. I've used it a lot. I really, really like it. This is in some of my first kind of makeup review videos. And granted, I am ab absolutely not. I never think that I would be a professional. I then love the Pixie by Petra blush. I literally just do a few swipes. Always do a little bit in the bridge in the nose. Otherwise, it just looks like I'm nervous to be here. Okay, cool. Right, powder. This is one of my favorite things that I've gotten so far. So, um, Layla and Katie, friends of mine, thank you for recommending me this. This is the By Terry Hyaluronic Acid Hydra Powder. When I say this is good. Oh, Nas. This is the Olympia, it's a blush bronzer. I don't know how to use this properly. So if any of you guys watching, which I know you will comment on, which I do appreciate, I can take criticism, don't worry. I kind of half apply it where I would contour and then half apply it where I would like a blush. I have no idea if that's right or not. Okay, I think that's it. So, super dewy, kind of glowy. Slight contour, bit of blush. So what do you guys think? There we go. One really random thing. So when you go away, when you're not at home, you usually eat things worse, you drink more, uh, you have a high sugar diet, you drink coffee more because you're kind of up all the time wanting to make the most of time because you also are aware that it's not finite and you want to make the most of the time with your family. And teeth is one of the biggest things that I'm kind of like a big ambassador for and flossing also. I also hate the fact that single-use plastics is so prominent, freaking everywhere, and it literally kills me, and I can't worry about even more things in the world, sadly. This is something that I wanted to feature. This is from Amazon. It is slightly more expensive than your awful single-use plastic flosses. If you use those things, be a responsible adult or child, or teach your children nice things. It shouldn't we shouldn't even like I shouldn't have even grown up knowing that that was an okay option and To have to use the mental capacity to fight against that But I'm gonna from now on and those around me these are fully biodegradable. They're plant-based materials They're uh, mixed with mint and charcoal. They're not that expensive. I think it's like five pounds or something for 50 You don't actually need to use just one mine actually lasts sometimes like one for a week I don't see anything wrong with that. I use mouthwash with it. I use um, toothpaste sometimes on it. One tip though, always use it before you brush your teeth, then brush your teeth, then use a mouthwash if you want, or do it first, then mouthwash, then brush your teeth. Do whatever you want, but always do it before you brush your teeth because you'll actually get a lot of stuff out. It's so satisfying if you're into kind of oral hygiene, things like that. Um, it's quite actually putrid what comes out. Even people that really look after their teeth or eat a cleanish diet. So I did want to uh, mention this. If you are interested in this, I will have a link myself. This is absolutely not sponsored, but it's just something that I know you can get uh, really easily from Amazon, similar to a lot of the things that I mentioned down below. So please go check them out if you'd like. I want to know other things as well that you find that are the best alternatives to like single use plastics, things that also I should know of. Uh, I would really, really appreciate that. So thank you for watching. Also, um, I may seem kind of like really analytic of everything right now. This book isn't helping, which is the best. It's Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari. It's amazing. I'm 30 pages deep and already my mind's blown. I'm questioning a lot even more so, which is a dangerous thing, but also important for us to do. So if you also have any, any other book recommendations, let me know. This is just a very kind of like a quick catch up video. I am also listening to Midnight Sun by Stephanie Mayer, which is the newest addition to the Twilight series. I'm obsessed. I'm listening to it on Audible, which was £26, but I got it for free because I had a credit. So down below, I will give my link to Audible that will give you a free sign up 
as long as you cancel it, which just do, cancel it before the time that they give you for free, which is usually like a month. They then offer you a cheaper thing, go for that and then cancel it. And you've literally ended up with like four or five books for like a few pounds. Just do it, it's epic, it's really good for the environment. It's really easy to listen to them. It's great to fall asleep to, it's great. So I hope you enjoyed this video tonight, this evening. I hope you're all staying safe. I look forward to replying to all of you in the comments and I hope you're well. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future and I look forward to seeing you next week in the future video. Take care of yourselves, guys. Bye.